What is up everybody? Hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'm going to share with you all that I've learned so far um, in getting the best hash rate out of my 3060 Ti mining rigs using LHR cards. All right, so I am using NiceHash. Uh, so if you're also using NiceHash, hopefully this video is helpful for you um, as how to get the most um, hash rate out of these cards. My goal, um, kind of what I've been getting is about 44 plus, plus or minus a little bit. So I'm going to share with you what I've done. Uh, here are the mining rigs that are set up. Uh, this rig here is the non-LHR cards, um, which I still need to revisit these to get these optimized a little bit better. Save that for another day. But here is the two rigs that have the LHR cards in them. Um, so I'm getting about 43 out of the gigabyte cards on these uh, 38, 37 out of the MSI cards. These have always been lower, um, but this is the best I've gotten this rig so far. And then the rig that I just built using the EVGA 3060 Ti's, I'm getting 44 plus um, mega hash out of those. So at a point where I'm, you know, going to keep tweaking, but I felt this was enough to share um, to see um, if this is helpful for any of you guys out there. All right. So the first thing that um, I needed to do is follow this article here um, on NiceHash on how to correctly install the GPU drivers that it needs. Basically, you don't want the DCH drivers. Um, you need the game ready drivers. So instead of using the GeForce experience or letting Windows update, just install the drivers. This article tells you how to um, install those drivers manually. Um, I think for the latest rig, I um, I just I started right away with downloading the drivers um, from NVIDIA directly. So I'm not going to go through all that process. You can read all that on the nice hash um, site um, uh, you, by just looking at nice hash on how to install uh, the drivers. I'll put the link in the description if you want to just click on that and read this article. All right. So what we need to do is let's jump into our rig here. So this is the latest rig that I just built. Um, Finally got remote access set up, which will be super nice. So I can actually screen record this for you. Um, See, so these are the cards. Um, my profitability here is set up to account for power costs. So you'll that's why there, there's a difference between what's showing on NiceHash and what's showing in here. So when I look at it in here, I get a better idea for after I'm paying power, what's my actual profit per day from this rig. Okay. So you can see in here about 44 mega hash. Um, you know, that's kind of what they're hitting, which, um, prior to this, I was getting about 42, 43. Um, so I'll show you the overclocks I have and the, um, the LHR unlock settings that I'm currently using. I was also getting issues with the rig crashing, um, several times throughout the day. I mean, I'm talking 12, 15 times, which was kind of annoying. Um, right now. Since I've set these, I've had it crash once, which is still not ideal. Um, so I don't know if that's an issue with the overclocks, if that's the LHR causing issues. So I still got to work on that. Um, so I'm going to see if this um, is at least more stable versus kind of where it was before. Um, so what I did with the overclocks, I'll bring those up here. Use an MSI afterburner. Um, I've reduced the core clock by 200. And I've added an 1100 megahertz overclock to the memory clocks. I did 1200. I felt like maybe that was causing some of the crashing issues. So I brought it back down to 1100. And then on the power limit, I had it set on 60. I've just recently moved it to 65. Um, I may try it back on 60 again. I need to give it some more time. Again, I thought maybe on 60, maybe it wasn't enough power um, to support what was needed on the card. Um, if you are way more experienced than me with the this setup these overclocks um please let me know i've looked at a lot of different articles um a lot of people had said uh, memory overclock of 1200 power limit 60. um so i'm just messing around with different things this is what i currently have set please do your own research and learn and, and test um i think the best thing you can do is write down your settings let it run you know kind of get some short-term changes uh to see um you know if you're noticing immediate impact from that and then also you may need to let it run for 24 hours just to see if it's stable um, over that a longer period of time. So that is the overclock settings I have on these 3060 Ti's. And then lastly, I will show you, um, let's see if it'll let me, I might have to turn this card off. Yeah, hold on. Uh, let's pause. 
Um, stop mining on one of those cards. Just for you guys, I'll I'll pause mining on one of my graphics cards. <laughs> All right. So here's the benchmark um, under benchmark and uh, nice hash um, where you can configure which algorithms you're going to be using. I only have the NB miner, NB miner, miner installed, and uh, dagger hash, uh, which is Ethereum, and Kapow, which is uh, Ravencoin. Um, I was running just Ethereum, um, but with the recent dips in Ethereum and um, things like that, I thought, eh, I'll leave um, uh, Ravencoin in there as well in case there's times when that would be more profitable. Um, I was, I did kind of have an issue when I had a lot of these enabled. It seemed like it constantly changed between algorithms and then, I don't know, I just felt like that wasn't super efficient. Okay, enough said there. Here's the setting, the LHR setting. Oh. There we go. So there's the LHR setting that I'm using on um, the algorithm for Ethereum, the dagger hash on NB minor, very specifically, NB minor, dagger hash, that's when you set this parameter. You don't need it on um, Kapow or anything like that because <clears throat> your the LHR isn't affecting the LHR cards in that case. But if you're mining Ethereum with LHR cards, um, you need to put some kind of launch parameter so that the LHR unlock kicks in and gets you more hash rate on those cards because otherwise these cards are going to be running at 30 or less so getting 44 out of them um, to me is is pretty good um i really struggle to find very clear documentation on the best parameter so after messing with it myself finding some articles uh, this seemed to be kind of the best way to do it um and what i understand is this is going to set the lhr to 74 which best to my knowledge is getting 74 percent back of the card um, i have noticed and we'll actually see if this one is showing it um, okay, these are actually all at 74 currently, um, but I did notice sometimes maybe the other miner would show, um, let's see what the other miner is looking like. Yeah, so like this one, oh, hold on. <laughs> this one you can see some of the cards did not hold at 74, it brought it down to a lower LHR. Um, so I'm guessing that's something built into the, um, oops. Get back in. I'm guessing that's something built into this here to just, um, you know, kind of help with the, uh, oh, I'm still on the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> I'm guessing that's something built into this uh, parameter here that it will bring it down if it's having issues with it. Um, but when I was just running, uh, I think there was LHR mode two or something like that was one of them. I tried that and it seemed like it immediately just kept running into issues and bringing it down to like, 68 and or seven it was like bringing it down so so this to me seems like it held steadily at that 74 lhr unlock i don't know the technology behind this as to what this is actually doing unfortunately maybe at some point i'll get there um, but so far that's the best parameter that i've found um at getting consistent um hash rates on these cards so let me go ahead and turn this one back on and let it relaunch <clears throat> Oh, that, that's why these were all on 74, because I just relaunched it. So, obviously, whenever it starts the miner, it's going to start them. You can see here it's setting them all to LHR mode 1, um, LHR at 74. So, all those cards are going to attempt to run at that speed. Um, but you may see them come down to like a 73, 72, 72.5. Um, I think that's normal. I think that's just when the card, it, the miner's finding an issue with that LHR unlock. It tries to go down a little bit. So yeah, that's where I've kind of rested with this um, at the moment. <clears throat> and um, like I said, consistently uh, getting you know around that 74 mega hash, um, which for me worked good enough. All right, so we're back up here. Um, yeah, so hopefully that's helpful. That's my overclocks, my setup, the LHR that I'm using. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, Please feel free to leave them in the description below. Or if you have comments on maybe something I've missed in this, um, let me know as well. Uh, I'd be happy to, uh, you know, maybe try it out and see if it works better. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next video.